I have new shoes. Why is this an occasion? Because that's the first pair of shoes I've bought with only one foot. And that was an interesting experience because I had to make sure there was enough flexibility in the shoe that I could get the opening wide enough to get the prosthetic foot in. And then I had to make sure that there was enough height in the toe cage, toe, toe, toe box, to get the huge orthotic in the other foot. So yes, a momentous day, I guess. And I have just had the most exciting call ever. Now, you know, I was talking about this old mountain bike. Well, it's not old. And a dropper post to try and sort out a way to be able to get off this because stepping forward off a step with my prosthetic up on the step is where my leg is the weakest. And that's how I get off a bike because I can't get the left foot out. Well, the bike shops just called to tell me that they think they might have an old one in the shop that they are going to try and fit on this and see if it will fit on this bike and if it will i might be able to travel in a forward direction and get a deal and a bargain at the same time i have collected the bike now we have a second hand dropper post on the bike and I've been advised that if any mod more modifications need to happen to it, I'm probably better off to get a better mountain bike. Now, um, what I now need to work out is traveling in a forward direction. So the limits I have with a prosthetic is the bike leg, I can't walk on it at all. I um, I'm going to have to start with the left leg clipped in and step off with the right leg and leave the left leg clipped in until I'm ready to dismount. And when I dismount, I won't be able to walk. So these are the mechanics I'm going to have to work out here because normally, you know, you'd ride to your destination, then you'd get off and you'd walk to the garage or whatever, whatever. No, I'm not going to be able to do any of that. So I'm going to have to give this some thought, I think. We have practiced uh, practiced on the drive a couple of times, making sure I can stop and start, get the seat post up and down. And uh, yeah, suffice to say, I'm terrified. There's only one way though to uh, do this and that's to do it. So I'm gonna go around the block and hopefully all will be well. There are no words to describe how happy this makes me. valuable thing there when I was coming to a stop the I pressed the button and I could feel the cable snap on the dropper seat and the seat didn't drop now I learned to laugh here's the lesson I learned the next thing you got to do is lean over to the right and put your foot down but no my instinct to more automatically was to try and get my other foot out and of course I can't and because I'm leaning that way trying to get it out yeah I fell over but I was next to a grass verge and I just ended up lying in the grass instead Dang it. So, bike is going back to the shop. Bike has been to the shop and it has come back. What had happened is the end that holds the cable in place under the seat had come off and so the cable had come out. Um, he thinks uh, he's tried a different sized cable and says that there might be too much tension on the cable to pull the seat down and this might be um, why it was second hand. So he has ordered a new dropper post in case I have to try it again. But this time I am going to have to be prepared to step off the other side, 
which is the opposite side to where I would normally step off a bike. That's why I fell to the left because I'd usually tip my left out, foot out and put it down. So I'm going to have to really think about that in advance next time and make sure that I'm prepared for all eventualities. So today was a momentous day because let me see, we are three days short of eight, uh, seven months, three days short of seven months post amputation. And I got back on a bike for the first time. My next goal is to be comfortable stopping and starting with the other leg. And then once I've gotten some endurance up in a traveling in a forward direction, we need to figure out the best type of bike leg and work towards being able to get on and off a bike without the dropper post so I can use the time trial bike because no dropper posts are available for it. Anyway, one base step at a time.